Hey guys, when are here back with another video in this video? I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic level selection screen in the Godot engine. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you want to have is your level select menu. And for me, it's just a spatial with a grid of buttons. And I have the column set to four. And then this level select menu just has a very simple script on it. It's called a game script. But this is primarily due to my RTS game because if the player does not have any units or buildings active and the enemy does not have any buildings or units active, then it will try to reload the scene constantly causing freeze ups. So this script is on here just to prevent it from infinitely reloading. And then I have a scene called a level button and it's a button with a signal connected to itself, the press signal connected to itself. And this button has a script on it and it has export var map underscore data and it is a resource. And on the button press, then I say global bars dot map data is equal to this map data up here. And then I change the scene to the level menu. Now that's the next scene here is the level menu. This is the actual UI that allows us to click play on this map. It shows the title and the description as well. Now this map data is a script. It just has the map, which is a packed scene a map name, which is a string, and a map description, which is also a string. And then in my global variables, global underscore vars, I just have a variable somewhere called map data, var map data, and it is currently a resource. And then this level menu script has a script on it. And I just have a variable called D. So in the ready function, I just say global vars dot is playing as equal to false, just so it doesn't infinitely reload. D is equal to global vars map data, so we're getting the map data on the global vari global variable script, and then we're calling this function called set data. This set data function sets the title label and the description label text to the map name and map description, and then I have a button called play button, and I have its press signal connected to the script. So whenever we press the button, I change the scene to the map data. And right now I only have one map in the game, so I can't really show you, but if you did set it up correctly, then it should work on your end. And the magic of this comes in because we only have to create this level menu scene once, and then we can just create the datas for all the, for all the maps. So for example, I have this simulation map zero, zero 001 here, and I just have the map be simulation map zero, zero 001. Its map name is Sim1, and I have a description. So if I were to actually press play on this uh, level select menu here, and then just go to that one, it auto-populates the data. So if you found this video informative, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. It helps out the channel, helps good content like this or from others. That's all from me for now. Thunderbird out.